background do not necessarily reflect or represent those of the owners, management, or advertisers of Pacific Telestations, Inc. This message has been brought to you by the stations of KUAM. You're watching Buzz with Jess Luhan. Good evening, Guam. I'm Jess Luan. Welcome to this edition of The Buzz. Very exciting show tonight. We have, we're going to be discussing what the people of Guam will be voting on, a one proposal that the people of Guam will be voting on this November 4th. We have, of course, uh, Emily uh, Conception here, the wife of Casey, Defunto Casey uh, uh, Conception, Savage K, who the bill was named after, and also the father, uh, Joaquin uh, J.C. Conception is here, and also the father of uh, Dylan uh, Terlahi, John Terlahi, he will be here with us in the next block to tell us how Dylan is doing uh, as he, uh, Dylan and his mom had relocated uh, to uh, Colorado for treatment um, from uh, the, uh, the strain of medicinal marijuana known as Charlotte's Web. Good, good evening, Emily. Good evening. In, how you doing? Uh, yeah. So, you know, you guys have started this, uh, this, this movement, nonprofit organization known as Live Live Alive, yes. uh, to, to honor, of course, Casey, Defunto Casey, our, our colleague here. And tell us where that's at. And of course, if you, as you guys are readying for, of course, the AKA 215 uh, now proposal 14A that's going to be uh, on, on the ballot this no November. So, so, so tell us about the organization and how you guys are readying again to, to help educate the people of Guam about medicinal marijuana and you know the purpose of that, right? Okay, Live Life Alive Inc. is a mantra that Casey originally came up with years ago mm -hmm. and so it, ca it was only right for us to go ahead and use that with our organization. Uh, right now we are in the process of educating our community on the benefits of medical marijuana. Mm -hmm. So we've been holding waves, we've been out there in the public, we've been meeting with people. We do have events that are coming up, mm -hmm. you know, um, pending the dates, but we are planning them and we'll be sure to get that out to everybody mm -hmm. as soon as we and, and this basically is, is a gathering fund slash fundraiser and all that, again, to help educate the, the community about uh, the medicinal use of, of, uh, of uh, marijuana, right? Yeah. Right. Mm -hmm. We are accepting donations. We're also having fundraisers. We're going to hold mm -hmm. fundraisers. Uh, you know, it's, it's a process to be able to mm -hmm. do this, mm -hmm. to be able to provide this information for our community. Mm -hmm. um, the first step would be obtaining, you know, the proper, the, the money really to, sure, sure. to get that information out. You know, there's only so much we can do on social media. Mm -hmm. There's only so much we can do when we get out there. But mm -hmm. as far as, you know, physically mm -hmm. handing some information to, to the general public, for instance, mm -hmm. the ones that don't use the computers, the ones that aren't able to get out of their house, you know, and join us, you know, mm -hmm. information mm -hmm. that they can go ahead and, and read. Mm -hmm. And learn from now, 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 let me ask you because I mean, you know, you 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 you've lived. Uh, you 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 were there. You were <laughs> the care uh, uh, giver for 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 Casey as long as well as uh, as as his dad in regards to you know his his final days. I mean, his days when since he was diagnosed, uh, even before diagnostic uh, uh, diagnoses happen. Um, but you know, when 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 you hear um, folks. Uh, when you see actions, well, most especially when you see actions like Attorney Howard Trapp, who's now fighting to keep this off the ballot. And he started from the very beginning because supposedly this, the, the legislature didn't do its job and things like that. And now he feels damaged because, and, and he doesn't want the people of Guam to vote. How do you feel, I mean, for you pushing something in, 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 in regards to medicinal stuff. I mean, I have Dylan's father who's here, who's, whose family had to be transplanted. They're no right. longer residents of Guam. They're, they're now residents of, of Colorado seeking treatment. And, and how do you feel as, as one who watched your husband deteriorate and die and, and, and was had benefited from the use of medicinal marijuana to hear things that I'm damaged and therefore I don't want you to, to, to vote for this thing? Right, you know, it's, it's very upsetting. You know, we've been pushing for this because we've witnessed it. We know, we know firsthand the benefits of medical marijuana. You know, I, I we went through the process, you know, mm -hmm. we had public hearings, we went, we testified, we spoke, you know, that wasn't good enough. Mm -hmm. So it had to go to the courts, which it did. They approved it. You know, I have a lot of faith in our, in our system. I'm, I'm, I'm young, my daughter's young. For me to lose faith in our system now, mm -hmm. you know, 
I mean, I have to trust them. I have to, you know, trust that they know what they're doing, such as the three mm -hmm. chief justices that sat there mm -hmm. and, you know, agreed with our legislature. Yeah, now, let me ask you to, this, too, because some of the, ar the arguments and, and, and the arguments uh, or, or the, the folks that are, are opposed to medicinal marijuana, they always have the component of, you know, you know, we don't want this to get in the hands of our kids. You're a mom. You have a young daughter. I do. And she's standing right next to you in support of this. She, she saw her dad die. Saw his, she saw him take his last breath. She was right there. And, and, and people argue, oh, we, we don't want this to get in, 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 in kids' hands. I mean, you, you have a child, bringing up a child, and like anything, you, you keep you know, prescription drugs away from, you, from your daughter as well, right? Right. Mm -hmm. You know, we don't leave prescription drugs, over-the-counter drugs, any kind of dangerous material that they can get our, their hands on, you know, because we have a daughter, we have a son, you know, he's, he's older, so he was able to really see, mm -hmm. you know, everything, you know, his father went through. Mm -hmm. So it wasn't something that we just left out for them to be curious, you know, we, we did tell them, we, we told them, you know, everything that we knew about the medication, mm -hmm. and they knew not to touch it, mm -hmm. they knew that it's for adults, they knew that it's going to help. And they just, you know, they trusted us as sure. their parents. Mm -hmm. And we just didn't give them the option to sure. touch it. And, and Keena, as, as a grandfather as well, we, we, we hear this as well, you know. I mean, we hear this on radio almost uh, every day when, when people call in. If it gets in, I mean, we, we're scared that this might go into our kids. And I'm sure your grandkids, I'm sure your kids, uh, you know, uh, are being educated not only in your homes but also in the schools about the dangers of drugs, not just not just illegal drugs, but also prescription drugs, the dangers. Right. So, you know, as a grandfather and you're hearing this and, and, and being really, you know, in, in a sense, insulted by actions, you know, court actions that are being taken and basically saying, you guys don't know what you're doing. And, and basically saying that, insulting us in a sense that, you know, we have problems with per parenting or something. Ken, how's that? It's a parental issue. Whenever you get into something like that, mm -hmm. where it be over-the-counter drugs or, or prescription medication, uh, uh, the parental instinct comes in in which mm -hmm. you will explain why they should not touch it in the first mm -hmm. place and what it, why it's there mm -hmm. in the first place, mm -hmm. uh, such as what Emily and Casey did. This is my medication. This is my chemotherapy pack. Do not touch mm -hmm. this. Mm -hmm. I carry this around for a reason because I am mm -hmm. ailing and stuff like this. So all that where we are afraid that it might get into the hands of our children and stuff like this, I doubt very much when if you have a something that is is it's as strong as pers Percocet, for example, or any type of prescription drugs. I doubt very much whether we, as a parent, will you just leave it on the table so that the kids could come around or, or any any cleaners and, as well, and, and anything <laughs> right. cleaners, anything yeah, that's sure, toxic, sure. etc. So yeah. it's a parental issue. For the most part, I I have full faith in our community mm -hmm. as far as seeing that and making sure that. Mm -hmm they do not, mm -hmm. medicinal marijuana doesn't get mm -hmm. into the wrong hands. Uh, no, or, no, again, or Emily and, and, and Ken, let, let's go back because Casey did not just seek conventional, uh, conventional uh, a treatment. He, he had, uh, I mean, uh, seek alternative treatment. He had conventional treatment. He was treated conventionally, Western medicine. He was treated chemo uh, and all that he was treating. This, the medicinal marijuana, he tried to counter, right, to counter the effects the, the effects that the conventional uh, treatment was having on him, right? Right, yes, yeah. it was. It wasn't only to help with the symptoms of his fourth stage mm -hmm. gastric cancer, mm -hmm. which, you know, there were many. It was also to counter the side effects from the chemotherapy, from the painkillers to the nausea medicines that weren't working. Mm -hmm. You know, it wasn't only medical marijuana Casey was doing, he was also doing other natural remedies that, mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. he's researched sure. and he was taking it and it did him good. Mm -hmm. It did him mm -hmm. very good. Mm -hmm. and, and, you know, you know, people will say, well, you know, it's not a cure. And, and you're not saying that it's a cure. I'm not saying it's a cure. And if you consume this, you smoke this, you eat this, you know, it's going to cure you. You're going to be able to walk out of an oncology mm -hmm. room, stop your infusion, and go about your daily life. And, and that's it. You're, you know, you're fine. No, I'm not saying that. We're not saying that. We're saying that it could help you. It could help counter side effects from the medication. That's mm -hmm. what we're saying. Mm -hmm. You know, it, it did help Casey. That's that's why I'm here. That's why we're here. It's experience. Mm -hmm. We've witnessed it. That's why we're advocating for mm -hmm. this. You know, everything else we're learning along the way. So we're not professionals. 
you know, we're not professionals either. You know, we're not going out there saying we know everything there is to know about marijuana because, you know, we don't. That's why we're open to the community to come out, you know, share your information, tell us what you know, tell us what we could do to help, you know, push this proposal forward. We're, we're open. And, and, and don't insult you by telling that it didn't work for you. And do not, do not <laughs> insult me by telling me it did not work for my husband because, mm -hmm. you know, that's, that's to your heart, you know? Mm -hmm, it's not, mm -hmm. um... Now, now, let me ask you this as well, because I, I you know, I read some of the blogs, and, and some of them get pretty nasty, oh, you yeah. know, and it's most especially they said, you know, the organization that, that you guys founded, that you're the president of, the Live Life and Life Foundation, they said, uh, well, you know, well, quit smearing the good name of KC, Savage K, and the Live Life and Life, because this is not really living life and life. If medicinal marijuana, smoking marijuana is to live life and life. KC recorded, uh, had a video that, that we pre presented, you guys had presented, and we showed it here in TV as well, in, in regards to his, his last days, basically, and where, where he was out there and the message continues. And this is, this, this, is, this is the message that he wanted to get out. Right, seven months before he passed away, mm -hmm. around Christmas time, you know, he was doing his medication, he had it all laid out. He said, you know what, we should record this. And you know, we didn't know what, what sure. was to happen to him in the future. So we went ahead and did that. It's not something that I'm coming out saying, I know it did. Mm -hmm. He's telling you, he's mm -hmm. telling me, he's telling all of us, it helped him. Mm -hmm. Who are we to say, no, it didn't? Mm -hmm. Yeah, and, and Keaton, you're the vice president of the organization. Where are we at at, at this point? You're looking forward to, of course, the, uh, you have faith on, on the people of Guam that they can understand what they read? I, I really have a lot of faith in them. Uh, there's mm -hmm. some uh, wrenches that are thrown into the system. For mm -hmm. example, uh, Mr. Trapp's, uh, uh, quest to actually just totally erase this thing now it's in the hands of uh, uh, the good federal judge and I just hope that mm -hmm. that uh, it, you know she would see it as reasonable as possible mm -hmm. uh, but um, this is uh, you know the, the the fact that it is being hurt by this and uh, we have to put a stop to this mm -hmm. I feel that he is one person and and if, if they see it this way that means that we have to take care of one person that's hurting Mm -hmm. and forget about the 46,000 sure. voters yeah. that are registered here. So that's a wrench that's thrown into the system of what we're trying to do. Mm -hmm. People that are saying that we're smearing my son's name mm -hmm. and we're trying to profit off of this, oh my God, I beg you, do not even come close to saying that. <laughs> we are not getting any type of benefits sure. out of this mm -hmm. except that we want people, if, uh, if medicinal marijuana is, or cannabis is legalized, uh, to try and have that option Mm -hmm. as to what they could do to alleviate mm -hmm. some of their pain as they go through some debilitating disease. Without the risk of going to jail. Without the risk of, of going mm -hmm. to jail. Mm -hmm. And medicinal, and you could actually spell it out if you want to. Amut mani ludan mani anahu, aye, te pun suri da pun chupa, da pun stone, ti adzuna gai gis ti. Da pun guput. 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 Da I'm asking you to just really, really consider this one because it is, it is for medicinal use mm -hmm. and, and uh, those that advocate other uses after this quest that will be championed by some other people, mm -hmm. not at this particular time. We are looking for medicinal use para almond. Okay. We're going to take a quick break. When I come back, we're going to be joined by, of course, uh, John Turlai. He's, of course, a resident here. Unfortunately, his wife and, and kids are now residents of uh, Colorado and had to be uh, for, uh, for Dylan to be able to, to attain a card to be able to get treated by Charlotte's Web, a strain of oil, um, a hemp oil um, a, from the marijuana, marijuana plant. Mm -hmm. And it's sad that we, that our residents, I mean, I'm happy that, that Dylan is being treated now. It's sad that our residents have to go off and be residents somewhere else in order to get treatment. We'll be right back.